So one of the things that we can do, just like we did with that text file, is we can actually come into the data tab and we can import from Microsoft Access. Now I know what you're saying, or you're thinking at least, I'm just going to click on this thing and it's going to work. Well, what happens if I actually want to limit what I want to look at? I don't want to look at an entire database, that's a lot. What I can do is I can come over here to From Other Sources. and one of the things we can do inside of a database is we can ask it questions known as a query I can select from Microsoft query and that is going to give me a nice little dialog box like this this allows me to now investigate and look through what kind of data I want to be working with I still want to work with an access database so let's go ahead and hit OK this is gonna make a little connection now this is gonna be a little crummy Hopefully you've learned a little bit about file hierarchy structures. I like to save mine in my desktop. Some of you may have this in your documents folder. If I double click on say mine, I can see that if I come down, here's my downloads folder where a lot of you may have this stuff. Again, I like to store files I'm working on on my desktop. Now finally, tutorial 11, I go in there, this will give me the database I want to look for. Finally, when I hit OK, I get a nice little message asking me what columns of data do I want. Now, this is a query, meaning I'm able to actually pull from all my different types of information. Say, for example, I want to see uh, who the heavy hitters of the portfolio uh, are. Uh, obviously, I don't need to look at every single one of my stocks. I just need to know the you know the key players, the ones that they tank. I go out of business. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to first select, say, my ticker symbol. Ticker symbol, that way I can you know, know what to look up when I go uh, and look this up, say, tomorrow, for example. I'm going to also include the title and how much my portfolio is of this particular stock. Now, we always like to diversify loans, blah, 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 but this is going to tell me at least the percentage how much this stock is worth in regards to kind of the majority of my portfolio. Next, I'm going to actually come in here. I'm going to go and look at my long-term performance. I want to take this year high and this year low, and I want to look at them as well. That's going to be something that I can kind of keep an eye on uh, as we move forward. I hit next. Next little part is where we can actually filter out information. Say, I don't want to look at all my different uh, portfolio stocks. I don't want to see all of them. I only want to see, for example, those portfolio stocks that have a greater than or equal to of 7%. Now, I'm using the option here of 0 0.07. That translates out to 0, 7%. Now I can take this information and I can hit next. Do I want to sort it? Yeah, why not? I'll sort by our portfolio percentage in descending order. When I hit next, pretty much, where do I want to go? I can actually save this query if I want to use it a little later. And I can say finish. Where do I want to put it? Same place as always. As soon as I hit OK, you see it actually pulls that information from access and so suddenly we get to take a look here's all the different portfolio uh, stocks that are above seven percent so we've got actually a few of these we've got uh, nine different stocks that kind of have highs and lows and we get to see sort of how they perform and how much you know that matters to us